Hey folks, it's PJ from Wisconsin Air Gunners, and uh, got a call from my friend Joe. You know him as the the Lord of Lead over at Predator International. Uh, last spring, he sent me a sample of pellets and uh, and slugs to do some independent testing for him. They were looking at bringing in a new line of ammo for distribution in the United States. And um, so the call was that it was okay for me to go ahead and release my results. So what you're gonna see in this video is um, results of testing I did last spring on a particular 22 caliber slug. Uh, show a picture right here. Interesting slug. Uh, it is pretty soft lead. It is not a hollow point. Uh, it's got this little cross on the front. Um, uh, it's it's an interesting design, and it hits like a Mack truck. Um, at the time, I was shooting my FX Maverick with a 500 millimeter barrel. Um, honestly, with that barrel, that gun was not tuned fast enough, I think, for this slug, really for long range accuracy. For uh, the, the clips you're gonna see are shots at 30 yards. I'm sorry, the clips you're gonna see are shots at 40 yards. The squirrels came in at 40 yards. Um, I do also have a 30 yard target that I'll put up. Um, I'll put that up right here, right here. I'll put that up. Um, so that's 30. So then you'll see clips of squirrels shot at 40. Uh, but I do also want to talk about longer range stuff. So I was shooting these at 860 feet per second. Um, I took shots at like 50, 55 yards and then out close to 100 yards. Um, interesting, if not great results. Um, the 50 yard group was almost exactly the same size as the 100 yard group. I didn't see any evidence of spiraling. It wasn't throwing off left or right. Um, it was about a two inch group, a little under two inch in, in both cases. And um, consistent, which says to me two things. Uh, the slug is flying true. Um, and somewhere between really not going fast enough for that slug and um, frankly, I think the harmonics were a little off for it. Uh, I now have a 700 millimeter barrel for that gun, and at the time, I was shooting a 600, I'm sorry, a 500 millimeter barrel, because it's the Maverick Compact. So my hope is, uh, in the near future, I'll be able to see what those do out of the longer barrel, and it's not that the longer barrel is inherently more accurate, it's that the longer barrel with the longer runway can get those slugs up to a higher speed that I think is gonna be more appropriate to their weight. Um, so we'll see how that works out. I didn't at the time have enough of these slugs to really tune the gun fully to them, um, but I, I think I have enough left over from testing to see what happens with the 700 millimeter barrel. And if they work, if this works, these things hit like a truck.
So I'll stop talking and let you take a look at some of this uh, squirrel footage. Again, these squirrels were at 40 yards. Um, they were up, up on or around uh, the feeder I had set out at 40 yards at that time. Um, and you're gonna watch them go straight down. Well, that was going to be it. A little bit of preliminary testing on a new slug, a couple of squirrels down. But then I thought, you know what? The Maverick's set up from Rocky Mountain Air Gun Challenge. I haven't tuned it back down to its normal compact form. Why not give you guys a look at what these can do at a higher velocity? Okay, so I did take the time to do a little bit of follow up with the Maverick and the 700 millimeter barrel. I'm out at 65 yards now, and this is a five shot group I just put out here. The lower right is one I shot as a cider, and just give you a, a sense of scale. That's a significantly better group than what I saw before at lower velocity. So let me put up a version with actual MOA calculations on it. You can take a look at that. That's a pretty good group. Um, and if it holds to 100 like it did before, there was really no difference between my previous 50 yard groups and my 100 yard groups, um, this being 65. Um, I think these slugs show a lot of promise. I also had, <laughs> while I was shooting this group, had a squirrel come out. You know I couldn't not take a shot at that. So let me show you first entry. And now exit. That slug is just ripping right through. Um, and that, that squirrel bled out right there on the spot. I know some of you are gonna wanna know about settings on the gun. The Maverick's regulator, the second regulator, is set at 131 bar. The hammer spring is maxed out, and it's shooting between 953 and 961 in terms of velocity. Pretty good standard deviation. One other thing to make note of is that I was not, when I shot that group, using a bipod. That was actually off a bag rest on the bench. Well, folks, that's it at this time. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's good to see something new coming to us here in the U.S. from our friends at Predator International. Until the next one, shoot safe and shoot straight. We'll see you around.